So in this video I'm discussing the uh, barcode scanner uh, that's available on Clover and the situation with the barcode scanners is the following. If you buy, let's say, uh, well first let's start off with this. So Clover offers two models, right? So there are two uh, models of barcode scanners that work with Clover. One of them is held in hand like this, we call it handheld, and the other one is stationary that's positioned and you can scan against it. Um, and Clover lists both of those models on their website as compatible and they also sell them directly. And you can find those models and buy them on Amazon, right? So you can find this Zebra DS22 uh, on Amazon, no problem. And it will even appear to work for the most part. And so this is kind of what I want to address. When you're creating an item on Clover, right, uh, there is a, such a thing as a fixed price or variable price or per unit. And this has to do with, you know, the fact that let's say a can of Coke would have a barcode on it that would represent the entire can of Coke. The entire barcode represents the entire product. But on barcodes that come from the scale that you can see there in my background, so print one, these barcodes here. These barcodes are what we call price embedded or weight embedded. So this particular one is a weight embedded barcode. And this one here is as well. So let me just, uh, there it is. So here is a barcode, right? And this barcode um, is more complex than the one you, that you would normally see, let's say, in a can of Coke. And what makes it complex is the fact that two pieces of information are being conveyed. Two followed by four zeros and a one represents an item number, right? It's beef. And some digits are ignored, 0, 1, for example. No, actually a 0 is ignored. Then 1, 3, 8 represents total weight, right? And 0, 5 is ignored. Um, and so you can see uh, in this scenario the barcode scanner function is not to simply read off the entire barcode it's to read the first part stop so that we can find this item and then read the second part let me show you how that's done actually all right so let us just do this real quick. I'm going to open the register app here and I'm going to save whatever I have going on and I'm going to scan this barcode and okay so there it is. You can see oh, you can see that the beef meat was found and it's $4.13. Um, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see it. There it is right and so the fact that it was found and the fact that it's uh, parsed this way is because this barcode parser uh, scanner was purchased directly from Clover. Had this barcode scanner been purchased from Amazon, it wouldn't work because a barcode scanner that comes from Amazon, although it appears compatible, it, it really just functions like a keyboard because it doesn't have a way to in, uh, it doesn't install as a barcode scanner it installs rather as an input device as a keyboard and so the only thing it can do is just read the entire number straight through and it works for most price uh, items but if you're dealing with uh, scale that prints barcodes those barcodes that those scale will print will never work on a barcode scanner that you bought from Amazon for Clover. You have to buy these barcode scanners from Clover because when you buy them from Clover, they are specially programmed and they actually function as barcode scanners rather than a keyboard. It makes a major difference and enables uh, merchants to utilize um, price or weight embedded barcodes. Thank you.